everyone. Welcome to our service tonight here at Paul Mater Gallery. It, the camera angle works fine out here. Looking at the, right. I'm gonna stand here, guys, a little off to the left because without Linda here, who's the expert You're on fine. the camera angle, I'm just doing my best here. Stand. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God, the kingdom, now and now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. Then forever. Amen. You may be seated. So one of the great blessings of the season of Advent is that we have, like, I think truly some of the most beautiful scripture of the entire year. And for that reason, I think I'm going to go ahead and read almost all of it right now. Our plan to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall rise up, the, raise up the former devastations, and shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations. For I, the Lord, love, have, for I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring among the people. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My heart will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. And let us say together my favorite psalm, Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy, stained from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please stand for the gospel. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus according to John. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not Christ, Christ, Christ. you, Lord Christ. You may be seated. So, um, this is just gorgeous scripture. And in this season of Advent, does anybody know who it is we hear from the most? One of the prophets. Isaiah, we hear the most from Isaiah. And um, I said in the sermon on Sunday, 